Hello there fellow YouTubers, this is Common Urban again <coughs> with another um, toy I purchased online. In the last video I showed you, I showed you the uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Shining Time Station Gold Rail Series uh, for Farquhar playset, which was produced by Ertl but designed by Bandai because they, Bandai produced their own playset underneath the Thomas Engine collection series tech series but I have the gold rail the American version and I have another piece here in the gold rail series and I got the box right here it says shining time station now we're gonna play a little guessing game which engine is this which piece is this and I'm gonna give you a clue I'm gonna try to I'm gonna whistle out this character's theme and if you can guess what it is I'll show you and then it goes like this my dog barking and if you if you guessed it's Percy you are absolutely correct this is the um, let me fix it here a little bit here Make a little bit of light on it all right there we go this is the Erdo gold rail Percy and it says even right here if I get a better light in here yeah there we go this is the Erdo gold rail Percy and uh let me see here, yeah. This is the Ertl Cold Rail Pursing. As you can see it right here in the box. And it says Ertl, and it says Pursing, and it says highly detailed die cast metal with magnetic couplers, and it says Gold Rail Series. Right there on the box. But what I really love is the side of the box, which you can see the character. It says Percy with magnetic coupling, and I love this old artwork. And on the other side, it has him on there too, but it says Gold Rail Series. And there's the back of the box. And on it, it says, Percy the small engine, always happy to oblige and eager to please. Percy is the junior member of the engine team. Collect all the Thomas the Tank Engine toys, and it's got the logo right there. And it shows you on the back of the box how these um, engines work, because they got a really cool coupling system. And it says, connect, you move the lever to the right, disconnect, you move the lever to the left. And this is the bottom of the box. And it says here on the bottom, it says, designed by Bandai Company Limited under license, and it says, made in Taiwan. And it's got a really cool picture of Percy on the front of the box, like this right here. And, you know, like I said, because this is an American thing based, you know, for Shining Time Station, there we go. And it says, Shining Time Station right on the box. So, we're going to open Percy now. This is the first time I open this. So. I'll open it from this in here. This is a little, little bit easier. There we go. There we go. What's even got the original wrapping still there? The original foam wrapper. I'm going to take this apart real quick. Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, there he is. Ta da! There's Percy. Look at him. He's cute. Oh, he's adorable looking. Look at him. This is so adorable looking. You can see there's the front of him. I love that little smile on his face. There's the side of him. See the number six, the red stripes on the boiler, his gold dome and whistles. There's the back, there's the top, and there's the wheels. And this is actually quite a nice little piece. Ah, shit. There we go, this is quite a nice little piece. And uh, it's got a lot of detail into it, too. I mean, and the couplers, there's the front coupler. It's a magnet, and it's the back cover, which is a magnet, and the sleever was either connected or disconnected, and it was built into his, um, into his little coal bunker in the back. I like it, though. It's actually quite a nice little model, and the only difference between the Bandai Techs and the Gold Rails that I have seen 
because all the steam engines on the band I text had little plastic side rods that would move as the wheels move, and the gold rails didn't have that. And that's how you can tell the difference between a gold rail and a Bandai Tex. And on the bottom of the case here, it says Ertl Company, Dyersville, Iowa, USA, made in Taiwan, designed by Bandai under license, copyright print, all Croft Thomas Limited, 1993. So I would have been two years old when this was made. And it says 1563TS. It's quite detailed too for a little toy like this. Originally this little piece would have been probably about nine nine to twelve bucks, probably brand new. And I purchased I bought it on eBay for nine ninety nine off of a I think her name was the eBay username was uh, the closet lady and I got it from California. So this came from Cali. See the face of Percy, I love Percy's little face. He is so adorable looking. I mean look at that. This is what I love about Percy, he's one of my favorites. And it's just because he's always happy, he's always cheerful. And there's, like I said, there's his side. I mean, look how detailed this is. This is an epic toy. I mean, this is epic, epic, epic toy. I'm going to lower this down a little bit so you can see. Percy, roll. Just one little finger to watch. Watch this. And it rolls quite nicely, too. Fix this camera real quick. There we go. And this thing, and she, and he rolls really nicely too. Very nice because he's got not like the little cheapo metal axles like they were in the, the, the normal Ertles, but these are actual solid steel, um, solid steel axles they put in these. So these are really well made toys. I mean, these were better made than the normal Ertles, but because of the price and stuff, the normal Ertles sold more, and the thing about the normal hurdles versus these, these had the real nice, like I said, the real nice magnetic couplers. Uh, the normal hurdles had like the little plastic little things and then the little clips that went in there and you put too many of them too much and pop out. Either would pop out or would just, you know, if you go over a rough stuff and the, the hook would fall out of the coupler. But with these, it's magnet, so if, until you want it released, it wouldn't come apart. You would have to flip the little switch on the engine or on the car to uncouple it. But yeah, this is a really nice piece. I really love it. And I hope you enjoy this uh, little toy review. And uh, and if you enjoy the video, uh, there we go. If you enjoy my video, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sick. But if you enjoy my video, I got two different lights coming from two different places and I can't fucking stand it. But if you enjoy my video, you know, hit the like button, please. And if you have any questions or comments about these or anything else I've talked about on my on my channel, leave in the comment section below. And then if you like my channel, hit subscribe. Until next time, this is your friend Common Urban saying, have uh, smooth seas, clear skies, and smooth sailing with you. And I think I should let Percy sign off here. What do you think, Percy? See you later, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Percy.